Hello and welcome to another edition of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries Campaign Missions. We're going to continue our series here on Commando Gaming and Battletech Battles of the Mech Warrior 5 campaign mode. So we're just going to jump back into the action. One thing I do want to mention offline, um, I was doing some traveling. And as you can see here, we picked up a Thunderbolt. I think I did that at the end of the last episode. If not, it was right after. But while I was traveling, I also got myself a Catapult. So we had about 11 million in C bills, but with those two purchases, we're back down to 3.7 million. But adding two 65 ton mechs, um, especially this Catapult C4, which is a rare mech, and it was in perfect condition right off the factory. So um, it was definitely worth a good investment there. So um, so just want to let everybody know we did that. Now the, the Thunderbolt and the Catapult are currently being uh, worked on right now. So they're not available at the moment, but Let's get back to the star map. So right now we're just trying to uh, engage in some missions here to get our sea bills back up. We're also working our way towards um, our campaign mission. So we're just going to get in some gameplay here uh, on a volcanic planet. It's a raid. We're going to max out our salvage, get a little bit of damage insurance, and um, get our sea bills as well. So it's a 175 ton mission. So let's just jump right into this. This, this particular mission is a little light on tonnage, so we're going to uh, swap to our lighter team. Now, I did sell our trebuchet when we picked up the catapult. It definitely was a good trade, in my opinion. Uh, so that does give us some limited options right now. all right there we go so we'll take our centurion we're going to take the centurion hvac 4p which is a medium laser build our shadow hawk and our locust just to round this lance out definitely on the lighter end um, I'm curious to see if our Hunchback 4P can fare a little better. It seems like every time we take it out, it gets completely wrecked and we have to rebuild it. Um, for some reason, there's a vulnerability where the uh, medium lasers are part of the Hunchback that it consistently has all of its medium lasers blown out every time we take it out on a mission. So we'll see if, if, if that continues, it's going to get to the point that the Hunchback is going to be phased out of our Lance. Um, we do have the other Hunchback, which is the AC build, which seems to fare a lot better from a damage standpoint.
mission is definitely taking us a long time to load. Hopefully it won't take too much longer. Not actually sure why it's taking so long to load this up. This should be a pretty straightforward raid mission. It shouldn't take that long to get teed up. All right, looks like it's going a little faster now. Might be a planet. I haven't done a mission on this planet yet. There might be a lot of foliage that it needs to render. But this definitely is longer than normal. So for this particular mission, um, we're going to uh, use our Centurion and Shadowhawk to tank with the Hunchback and the Locust providing support. Um, one interesting mod I did come across that I might install uh, before the next video is there's a mod now that will allow you to control your Lance um, simply through voice commands. So for example, if I, I could say attack my target instead of pushing, a, pushing several, that's basically attack my butt, target for your Lance is actually three button pushes. So if you could just say it instead of issuing the command, it's going to let you be much more effect effective as a mech warrior yourself. So I'm really thinking that's something we're going to have to investigate. Um, really impressed that there's already some interesting mods in the marketplace for this game. Um, and I'm enjoying this game very much. And I really think um, mods can make this a very interesting game. Um, one thing in particular I would like to see in mods is so far the, the ability to um, modify your mechs is fairly limited in, in this game so far. You don't have a lot of flexibility. Like for example, in Battletech, if I wanted to take out a large laser and put in three medium lasers or four medium lasers, I could do that. All right, that looked a little, that seemed a little clunky. Hopefully things are going to get better here. All right, we got a target already. guys are doing a good job of uh, clearing out the landing pad here, so to speak. All right, so we have a lot of targets that are kind of isolated in these canyons. So we might as well, so while those targets might look closer, they're actually on the other side of a canyon. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head to the Head down this alley and take out the first target. I suppose we could go that way, but let's just clear out one valley at a time here. Probably the most effective way of doing this. You always want to try to isolate each one of these locations one on one because that way you're not fighting multiple. Um, garrisons at the same time. Let's move forward here. Well, speaking of that, looks like we're having some bleed through from some of the other garrisons. Alright, but my mechs 
My my pilots have gotten to the point where they can handle up oh, SRN carrier. Let's get it guys. Alright, never mind, I'll get it. My pilots are getting pretty good at engaging targets on their own. Which means I could do more as far as just being a mech pilot instead of being a commander the whole time. The harasser does not want to die. I find it interesting that the turrets show up after you start destroying an objective. I, I get that they have small lasers for the most part, but you still... Now, as, as we move higher on, I'm sure we're going to have turrets... Oh, we got an enemy lance that just got dropped. We're going to have to deal with that. Somewhere along the line, we had a lance of mechs dropped, I saw it. So we're going to have to deal with them soon, at some point. They didn't drop here. Um, the logic being maybe that we took out that target. Oh, no. There's the lamp. There's the mech. Javelin. Follow some vehicles. SRM carrier. We got a whole lot of activity on this map. No question about it. Right, everybody's faring pretty well. So we're just giving us a hard time. All right, we might have a loop around. Yeah. Go this way. Right. We don't get stuck on rocks. Target should be close. Right over this rise. Moving to your six, Commander. Target acquired. Mark is assault. Target Take out this target. Yep, we got enemy, enemy movers moving in. Lots of harassing fire at this point.
myself a target here. Back on track. of uh, targets here. Definitely feels like we... gotten through the worst of it. Let's actually uh, go back this way. Again, I try to attack targets one at a time so we don't have multiple garrisons engaging us at the same time. These are pretty close together. I'm going to take a little uh, side trip here. Trying to minimize damage at this point. Haven't seen too many mechs yet, which is disappointing because I really like to uh, get some good salvage here. Again, I really enjoy this this volcanic map. It's a lot of fun to play on. I'm not too sure if I want to be here right now. <laughs> I agree, Lieutenant. This is not the best environment for us. We're tending to run a little bit more of a temperature with these engagements. got stuck on those rocks. Come on, break free, guy. Come on, Locust. Over here, Locust. The Locust is so small that it's actually having a hard time navigating some of those larger boulders, so I'm going to have to pick a route that's a little better for the Locust. Not that I need it very much, but I don't want him to get left alone and get taken out. Alright. Shadowhawk already getting involved. I love it. No, we got a mech. You guys focus on that mech. Got 
one more target. Slide down here. Real careful. That last target and head home. Doing pretty good damage wise. Not as much salvage as I would like. Just hoping to get some more mechs to sell. But they generally are sending a, a mech wave of mechs after we destroy each target. Hopefully we can get some more salvage here. So. Let those guys go after the locusts. Alright, let's get out of here guys. Before we get too much damage. Shield arm took a beating on this one. I think I took SRM 20 to the shoulder at one point. Those SRM launchers are always a pain. Pretty smooth meeting, uh, sorry, mission all the way around. Got a little less damage than I expected, so I probably could have got a little more sea bills. Um, but we had maxed out the uh, salvage before we purchased the damage insurance anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. In the big scheme of things, hopefully we can get one of those locusts, or maybe two of those locusts to sell to try to increase our, our reward for this mission. Got a little XP. Yeah, our damage taken was well below our insurance. Oh, so we got a javelin. So that definitely helps uh, Increase our salvage for sure. Have a javelin to sell. Everybody got a little bit of experience. All right. Let's get 
Some repairs done. All right, so for once, our hunch laser hunchback did not suffer damage. And he can go right back out there without us having to rebuild him. we're going to get for that javelin that we picked up. A million in sea bills. Might as well just do that now just to free up the spot in the mech bay. Alright, we got two available contracts. We have another raid. Gonna get as much salvage here because they're not big fans of us. All right, so we're gonna have to cobble together a lance because. Uh, a lot of our stuff is being repaired here. Oof, that won't work. Hmm. Heavy, too, too heavy. All right, well, it's, we're going to go in light, but this is a raid, so I think we'll be okay. I'm definitely going to have to take on the bulk of the heavy targets, um, but we got our javelin, our fire starter, and our panther. Um, they should do fairly well. Again, we have we have really experienced pilots at this point, so they should do a pretty good job. My guess will be we'll do this mission and then we'll travel. We won't finish off that last mission on this planet simply because um, we're going to have to get some repairs done. And that, this is one thing that is so good about us getting substantially more mechs and better mechs is we can actually cobble together lances without necessarily having to wait eight days for repairs. Um, and we can just push through, do another mission, and then we can do repairs of all of our mechs while we travel. Just like in Battletech, if you play that game, uh, once you get multiple mechs, you want to run as many missions as you can without having to do repairs. But, of, of course, in regular Battletech, the game you don't have to pay for armor repair it's basically given to you for free so as long as you don't suffer structural damage your mech is ready to go the next mission which is not the case with uh with mech warrior here this is actually a more realistic way of handling it We're definitely light on tonnage here. It'd be nice if I could have taken another medium. If 
because not only are we going to have to take on any significant threats for the most part, um, but the enemy is going to target our Jager, Jager mech as the primary target because we have the most tonnage. So that's fine. We should be okay for, for a 19 raid mission. We should be just fine here. Our fire starter ready to cause some trouble. Our panther ready to cause some trouble. Reactor online. And our javelin. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems in nominal. We've been tasked with destroying a local communications network on behalf of our clients. Make your way to the Martin up points and take out any target identified at the location. Huh. Stay here, guys. I'm wondering if I could take out one of these targets from here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do enough damage that way. Would have been nice. Okay, so we got three targets. to the first closest target first. This is gonna be a hot hot environment for sure, so we gotta keep that in mind. Alright, Panther's doing a good job of taking out a V stall before we got to engage. Good job there. let them handle the smaller targets and I'll go after the big fish. Although our pilots are pretty capable. Even though they're in light mechs, they're pretty capable handling these harassers without too much trouble. First target down. Let's keep moving. Oh, I got an enemy lance that just got dropped. An enemy mech should show up momentarily here. Wow, that panther is doing a great job on the beast stalls. Better than me. There we go, finally. Alright, here comes that mech. It's a spider. I'll have everybody else work on the spider. Good job, guys. They handled that spider without too much trouble. Oh, we got another. We got a javelin. All right, you guys, take out that javelin. I'll give you a little support. I don't. I want them to to tank against that thing if they can. Coming our way. Push forward. All right, we got a locust. You guys get the locust. Let the 
and work on the locust. that target. Right, let's go up to this canyon here, take out this last target. Oh, these calls. are just on point. Oh, we can't go this way. Man, we gotta go over. Come on, guys. There you go, fire starter. Be my pathfinder. Good job. Alright, we'll just go up this valley here. Take out that last target. We've got a lot to take out here. Great job. Not seeing a lot of uh, defenses here at this one. Alright, you guys keep out an eye out for trouble. They're doing all right over there. Panthers took quite a bit of damage, though. But panthers are squishy. Get out of here, guys. Not leading those yeast holes correctly. A little rusty. It's one of the things about when you get used to one mech like I did I used the Centurion for quite a few missions there in a row so adjusting to the AC5 from the AC10 just throws your aim off ever so slightly
got something coming after us. Another kill. Scorpion. straightforward mission, especially since I was going with probably my C team lance wise. Um, a bunch of lights. But it still was not a significant problem. I'm much happier when my pilots in these cutscenes are just talking instead of engaged in battle. Um, anybody who's played this game knows that sometimes when you're evacuated and you head to the drop zone first, your, your mechs still are engaging during the loading scene and that always makes me very nervous that something bad is going to happen. And I won't be able to help them, right? Because I'm already out of the battle. little bump in our reputation progress. My Jagger mech looks pretty good considering it was the only heavy mech that we had in that battle. Alright, as you can see my lance is progressing pretty well with respect to its skills. Total damage I didn't get any salvage? Hmm, not sure what happened there. We should have gotten some salvage. It went right past the salvage screen. I'm not sure why. Hopefully we just didn't get screwed out of salvage. Everybody just needs some repairs. Too bad. Let's see if we can get one more mission out of this. Clear out this one priority mission here. All right, we got some refits completed, which means we have some new toys to play with. thing I don't like is I, I put the um, max based on tonnage and it always seems to organize them back based on 
the repair order. I'm not sure why. Just something I, I like to see what's available in tonnage order. So we've got our Jagger Mech. We've got our Thunderbolt now. We've got our Catapult. The one thing I like to do is make sure that we get the weapons groups the way I want them. Okay, that's not how I want them. All right, so I want my large laser to be one. Medium lasers to be two. Let's see, range for the SRM two is two hundred eighty three. The medium laser. All right. In all practicality, we could probably shoot our SRM four most of the time at the same time we shoot our medium lasers. That's just a personal preference for me. LRM 15 is going to be weapons group 3. And weapons group 4 will be SRM 4s and machine guns. All right, I think that's pretty good. Just in case if I jump into this Thunderbolt that I have the ability to, I, I try to map all of my mechs to have the same general layout as far as its weapons. It usually works out pretty good. Let's do the same thing with the catapult. Catapult should be pretty simple, right? Might be a little hot to shoot all those. Um, you know what? I think they had it right the first time. Two. Yeah, that, that's actually a better layout, I think. All right, let's jump into a mission here. All right, so we got an assassination mission, 200 tons. That gives us some tonnage to play with here. So what do we want to do? All right, we're gonna take the Jagger mech. I'm definitely gonna take the Thunderbolt. And we could take two lights. So two mediums and two lights. Yeah, that's about right. Let's go with that. This is going to be our last mission for this video. And we'll bring in some more gameplay video videos soon. So please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Fun to have another have the Thunderbolt out there. I want to see how effective it is. The Thunderbolt is one of my favorite weapon weapons platforms in the heavy class because the Thunderbolt can do a little bit of everything, right? It's got a little bit of missiles, it's got a large laser, it's got medium lasers, it's got SRMs, so it can kind of do a little bit of everything. 
which means it, it actually would be a good platform for me um, as the Lance Commander, now that I think about it, because I can do a wide range of things. Um, the Jagramek is great, but my weapon suite is a little limited as far as I don't have missiles, um, so I have to rely on the auto cannons and the, the medium pulses. But the fire starter should provide good uh, close in support against those skirmishers, and the uh, panther should be great against the VTOL aircraft as well as giving us some fire support. So I, th I think this is going to be a pretty good lance. I'm really interested in seeing how this Thunderbolt does. It should be a good platform for an AI pilot as well, now that I think about it, simply because it's a situation where um, the AI pilots sometimes struggle if you give them weapon systems that are not compatible with the situation. So for example, if, if you gave it a catapult and it had small lasers and LRMs, it would tend to, quite frankly, um, it'll shoot with the LRMs until it gets too close, and then it'll just dive forward with the small lasers instead of saying, hey, wait a minute, why don't I back off and use my most powerful weapon? So um, I saw that a lot with the trebuchet. Sensors on Got. Did you see that? Whoa, what happened? Spider jumping us right as we get off the ship. It also caused caused some fro some uh, freezing there. Caused some freezing. So let's see. Let's look at the map. All right. So we got one place to go. a quick mission. Thunderbolt took some hits from that spider, actually. Alright, so I want you guys to hang out here while I pop up and see what we're dealing with. I'm trying to spy on somebody with the Jagger mech. All right, so we got some targets. I saw a mech. Kind of ran off. where the mech went. All right, here comes the reaction force. Oh, here we go. All right. You guys take care of that. I'll take out take on this crab. Okay, 
lost one of my ACs. Everybody after the primary target. That's the big threat. I'll go after the secondary target since I lost a lot of their firepower. Everybody on me, let's get out of here. Getting into formation, Commander. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Get out of here, guys. We're not going to get salvage on this mission because the Draconis Combine doesn't like us, so let's get out of here. All right, nice quick mission there. Good job, guys. That wasn't one of my guys. I'm going to be a little disappointed if we lost a mech. Lots of damage taken on this one. And since we don't have a good relationship with these guys, we only get two pieces of equipment. All right, here we go. Defector and their associates are dead. Put down like mongrels without honor. They're with worse than Ronin. Welcome to the supply of surplus Davion goods. Okay. So we got Auto Cannon 2 burst fire, Auto Cannon 20, and Auto Cannon 10 burst fire. So, not the biggest reward. Especially since we got took a bit of damage there. It was a good warm up for our Thunderbolt there. So that's going to be it for battles here. Hmm, there's a rare mech on the market. 
close to that hub. So why don't we just go take a look at what's there. Grasshopper. Oh, I love grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are really great, Max. Great brawlers. Question is, what can I sell? question All right, I'm gonna sell the hunchback for P Don't have enough. I don't have enough money to buy this grasshopper as much as I would Got like it. For me, big boss? Level thirty pilot. I'm gonna take that plus thirty pilot. Captain Willis, what you talking about, Willis? Uh, dismiss Captain Pratt. Just have a hard time justifying buying that grasshopper at that price. It's 25% markup because they do not like us. Gonna, uh, we're not going to buy that, unfortunately. Just doesn't make sense. They do not like us. Let's travel back to this industrial hub. Cost us some sea bills and some time, but that's okay. We had some repairs still going, so that's fine. Time just really is not a significant issue in this game. Ooh, Kentaro. Hero Kentaro. I can't. Can't afford it. I cannot afford it. All right, I got some mech repairs to make here. Some train could actually yeah, give him a better DC 10 burst fire because I use him quite a bit. <coughs> so 
what I need to do is I need to actually complete some missions because it's just teasing me to see these mechs that I can't afford to buy. We're going to do a quick travel. Yep. <clears throat> what I'd like to do is earn enough sea bills to go back and get that Kantaro. it'll still be there uh, and we're going to do that on the next mission guys so tune in for the next mission we'll see if we can get um, enough sea bills together to pick up that Kentaro and we'll see you soon on Commando Gaming and Battletech Battles